All right, so thank you very much for joining my webinar. In this webinar, I will teach you how to build your email mic platform in less than 30 minutes. So what's our purpose? Our purpose is to show you building a high performance email marketing platform that doesn't break your bank account is quite feasible, right? And yeah, to do this, you will need a physical dedicated server and I personally recommend you a physical dedicated server with minimum 20 CPU cores or virtual CPU cores, cores and 64 gigabytes of RAM, especially if you are going to store your MySQL server on the same server with your OM Pro and email marketing platform. And for server components, you will need a MySQL database server, you will need Docker and Docker Compose. And you will need OM Pro, which is the email mark enterprise level email marketing software. And as remote services, you will need email relaying service. And also you will need a backup system to take both file and MySQL backups to a third party location. Like it can be Amazon S3 or something like that. And also I will be teaching you how to build your email delivery and so that you will make sure that your email delivery is maximized and also you will need monitoring systems to monitor the health of your physical server and also you will need to monitor the health of your email deliveries sender domains ip addresses etc but before we begin i'd like to give you quick background information about myself so my name is jim hurtuk and i'm one of the founders at Octet and Sunloop email marketing companies. Um, back in 1999, I have founded one of the first enterprise level and on-premise uh, email marketing solution. And it became quite popular pretty quickly. And right now we are providing uh, OM Pro to 10 tons of users all around the world. And we have customers from Inc. 500. We have customers from government organizations enterprises small businesses esps digital marketers etc and yeah i founded three companies in the email marketing space one of them has been acquired and i'm still running the other two email marketing companies with my partner so yeah on the right side you can see my uh, illustration but eventually i don't have that beer anymore Anyway, so uh, yeah, let me show you a few case studies. So Sunloop, Sunloop is one of our companies and it's an email marketing service, easy to use and self-service email marketing service, which is designed for small businesses and email marketers. And currently it's being used by more than 60,000 users in, in, all around the world. And, you know, we are sending millions of emails every month and Sunloop has almost 10,000 dedicated IP addresses to power up those email delivery volume. But, you know, uh, we have a huge infrastructure, but the good news is you don't need that kind of huge infrastructure to send millions of emails. I will teach you how to do it. And we have founded Sunloop back in 2008, and the purpose was to build an email marketing service using our own solution and to provide easy to use email mic service to small business owners. And yeah, as you will guess, Sunloop's core is powered by OM Pro. And actually we are eating our own dog food, right? And, and we, we make sure that OM Pro is the right solution for ESPs, for big companies or high volume senders, right? Uh, another case study is Consist. Consist is a digital marketing and branding agency located in Palm Springs, California. And uh, they were managing email marketing campaigns of the, uh, the clients on various different email marketing platforms. And it was quite challenging to manage everything on different uh, platforms and, you know, provide valuable and meaningful metrics and reports to their clients and they, they switched to our solution and then they unified their email marketing platform under just one roof and their productivity is maximized by 100%. And yeah, Anand, the owner of the agency is telling that 
uh, our solution is so awesome that their productivity is increased by 100%. Anyway, so yeah, why should you build your own email marketing solution, right? So, you know, shouldn't you use an outsourced third-party email marketing service instead of building your in-house email marketing service? So there are many advantages using an in-house email marketing platform. First things first, you will have full control on your data, right? You will not be sharing your data on shared platforms. And this means that from data privacy point of view, from GDPR and other data privacy laws point of view, you will be in good standing because all sensitive data, all personal data that belongs to your clients will be uh, managed and hosted on your own server, right? And yeah, whenever needed, you can make customizations on your in-house email marketing platform based on the needs of your clients. And there will be no sudden server shutdowns due to misunderstandings or due to problems with your deliveries. And yeah, you will be providing unique service to your clients. And instead of uh, referring your clients to third-party well-known ESP solutions, you will be providing them exceptional service on your under your own brand on your own solution so they will not be leaving you and most importantly building an in-house email market solution doesn't break your bank account it's quite affordable and less costly and another reason is it's scalable so once your client base starts to grow along with your email delivery volume you can easily scale your system right and there will be no system resource sharing so no one can slow down your system right and it's 100 percent rebrandable it runs under your own domain under your own brand and you will have full control on the branding and yeah it, once you build and run your in-house email marketing solution it will bring you a uh, very competitive advantage against your competitors because they will be referring their clients to third-party solution providers like MailChimp and Standing Blue or Sunloop, etc. But in the meantime, you will be providing email marketing solution under your own brand on your own platform and you'll be able to market this to your clients by, you know, emphasizing data privacy, uh, dedicated resources, etc. Right. So, uh, and you can also, you know, build new features based on your needs to your in-house email marketing platform. And yeah, at the end of this webinar, you will learn how to build your email marketing service and you will learn how to set up fundamental email delivery settings, including SPF, Dikim and other stuff. And you will learn what you need to build your ultimate email marketing pl platform from setting up your server to setting up your email marketing software to setting up your uh, sender domains, tracking domains, and you know, being in good standing with your policies, sender policies, etc. And you will also understand potential risks and challenges ahead of you when running an email marketing business. And also you will learn what metrics to monitor for your uh, email marketing service success and you will learn how to take backups for you know uh, disasters data losses and outages and you will learn how to build your email their reputation yeah so when you start sending your emails from day one you will have zero reputation on your sender domain on your sender ip addresses etc and you will i will teach you how to build reputation in the good in the right way and also i will show you what email relaying services you have as an option to use on your in-house email marketing solution and what hosting companies to use to host your email marketing server all right so yeah let's get started the first step is getting a server so a server will be used to run your email marketing software and it will also be used to store your data okay so we need a powerful server and yeah you have two options here you can go with dedicated server solutions or you can go with cloud server solutions all right so uh, i have experienced quadranet and server mania dedica uh, dedicated server 
uh, companies. And in the meantime, I have experienced Google Cloud, AWS, DigitalOcean, Linode, etc. And all I can say is, uh, it have both sides have advantages and disadvantages, but if you go with a dedicated server, you will have a better performance because you will have dedicated resources and it will have faster network connectivity and it will be less costly compared to the resources that you get from the server, dedicated resources. Um, but, you know, it will be more difficult to make it redundant. So, yeah, you will need to spend more time and maybe you will need to hire a system administrator to make it redundant and yeah during disaster times it will be challenging to get your system up all right and you need to design a system but you know um, also it will be difficult to take backups uh, but no worries i will show you how to take backups of your files and mysql database if you go with cloud servers, uh, it will be easier to scale because you can simply click a button and you can clone your system and it will be easier to backup. You can take daily snapshots uh, with a single button and it will be easier to recover. You can simply recover your system by restoring your system from a previously taken snapshot. Uh, but on the other hand, it will be costly. You will not be having any dedicated resources unless you request dedicated resources, but you will triple your cost in that way. And the performance, the performance will be, uh, will be lower compared to dedicated servers. The reason is uh, you will have shared resources. So you will have virtual CPUs instead of dedicated CPU cores, and you will have, you know, other shared server resources. So um, what I recommend is if your email delivery volume is less than 1 million a month, just go with Google Cloud, AWS, Linode or DigitalOcean because it will be easier for you to build and run and manage your system infrastructure. But if you are sending more than a million emails every month and if the volume is increasing, then yeah, just do the right thing from day one and get a dedicated powerful server. And it can be, you know, that, that server can be built on server menu, quadrant or any other dedicated servers, uh, data centers. And yeah, it will be better for you because you will have higher performance. All right, so um, yeah, once you get your server, make sure that you have Ubuntu 18.04 or higher version. Why Ubuntu? Because we are familiar with Ubuntu a lot, but you can of course use any other Linux distribution like CentOS or any other ones. But Ubuntu is the one that I will be working on during this webinar. So once your server is ready and operating system is installed, the next step is to start setting up your server. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is to install, you know, common uh, packages like uh, utilities, IP utilities, Telnet, Git, Unzip, and some other uh, components like cron, supervisor, MySQL client, and Docker. Okay, so just run these two commands and they will be installed on your server in a minute. And then you need to install Docker Compose and you Docker Compose can be installed by running these three commands. You will download it from GitHub and then you will make it executable and then you will check the version and it should be higher than 1.25, all right? And once core components are installed and Docker Compose is installed, the next step is to create the OM Pro directory and upload your OM Pro zip file to that directory. So Ampro is the email marketing front-end software. So uh, this software will make sure that you will be able to manage your users, your subscribers, your audience, your list, your marketing automation, email campaigns and reports uh, on, on, on your web browser, all right? So uh, once your Ampro zip file is uploaded, the next step is uh, making sure that your MySQL database is ready. So if you don't have a ready to use MySQL database, you will need to set up MySQL server on your server. This is another topic. 
uh, if you're interested in learning more about how to install and set up your MySQL server, just let me know. I can record another quick webinar about it specifically. But, you know, once you install your MySQL server, make sure that the strict option is disabled and it accepts remote connections from your OMPRO uh, dedicated server. All right. And yes, the next step is installing OMPRO email marketing software. So uh, as you know, here we created OMPRO directory. We uploaded the zip file inside this directory and we unzipped it. Okay. And now the next step is to change some directory permissions to writable. And then we will simply uh, run the Docker containers of OMPRO. And then we will log into one of those containers to perform command line installation. All right. So once you execute this command line uh, tool, uh, it will ask you a few questions about your database, host, port, username, password, and some other questions. And within a few seconds, the command line installation will be completed. And on the next step, you need to enable uh, SSL certificate for uh, your OMPRO URL. This is optional, but I highly recommend it because you will secure your website and also your sender domain. So you simply log into your HA proxy container and you register your, uh, you, your sender domains and application URL and you create SSL certificate. And on the next step, you prepare this SSL certificate and make it ready for OMPRO, all right? And then you simply rebuild your HA proxy and you rerun your HA proxy container. Okay, so once you rerun your HA proxy container, your OMPRO will be running under SSL, okay? So it, it's better. And on the next step, you simply open your web browser and you point to the installation URL of your OMPRO and you you need to upload your license file and this license file can be downloaded from the Octet client area or if you don't have any license file yet you can simply request a 30-day license from the system by entering your name and email address all right um, then you enter some preferences for your OM Pro installation like application path URL uh, MySQL host username port and database and password of course okay so and once these credentials are entered you can proceed with the next step but first if you are hosting your MySQL database on the same server simply enter 172.1701 to the host address and it will be using the local MySQL connection okay and the next step is to enter the name, email address, username, and password for the uh, system administrator. All right. So this person will be able to log into the admin area to manage users and other system preferences. All right. So once you hit the install button here, uh, OMPR will complete the installation and it will start running. Okay. The next step is to log into the admin area. So uh, once you log into the admin area, you can set up all system preferences and there are tons of features to set up but in this webinar i will be talking about setting up security settings delivery servers and email deliverability rebranding user groups and creating your first user account all right so um yeah first things first we need to set up security for the admin area simply go to settings and security section here and enter the IP addresses that you will be using to connect and visit the admin area. This is this is very useful, especially if you have a dedicated VPN or static IP address. Okay, in this way, no other IP addresses will be able to access to the admin area. And secondly, I highly recommend you to enable two-factor authentication. In this way, you know, no one without a two-factor code will be able to log in. To the admin area all right and then the next step is to set up your email delivery settings and once you click again settings and then email delivery option here you can enter email addresses line by line for seed list and these email addresses will receive 
every single outgoing email campaign okay this is very useful to monitor your inbox delivery rates or you know to get a copy of each outgoing email to you know to take a look at what's going on on your system and then you need to set up primary SMTP server credentials so that password reminders and other notification emails can be delivered without any problem and also you need to set up you know bounces and spam complaints settings here and then you need to set up your first data server the the biggest and most important feature of OM Pro is you can set up multiple delivery servers with different sender domains and application domains and sender domains okay in this way you can achieve 100% domain alignment and isolation reputation isolation and to do this you know uh, you need to create your delivery servers so you can have one delivery server from Mailgun and you can have another one from Sunloop, you can have another one from SunGrade, you can have another from your local SMTP, and each one of these delivery servers can be used for different purposes, like one of them can be used for just marketing emails, deliveries, and the other one can be used for transaction email deliveries, the other one can be used for autoresponders, etc. And of course, we have also global segments feature, so you can you know, segment your audience globally, and then you can reroute uh, emails going to these segment audiences through different delivery servers. It's, it's very useful, right, from delivery point of view. So in order to create your first delivery server, first you need to give it a name. And then you enter the uh, host or IP address of your SMTP server. You set the security level, connection timeout, and authentication parameters. And on the next step, you set your domains for this delivery server okay so don't forget each delivery server will have its own separate tracking domains sender domain and enforced email address especially if you are using amazon ses all right and you enter link tracking open tracking and m from in other words return pet email address domain here and you simply hit the create button and then you need to set up some dns records for those tracking domains and sender domain right so uh, for example if you are going to use track.mydomain.com for tracking domain or as dom as tracking domain you need to set up a cname dns record pointing to your om pro domain all right and you should do the same for open tracking domain and for the m from or return path email address domain you need to set up a cname record again pointing to your OM Pro domain and for your OM Pro domain you need to set up plenty amount of uh, DNS records the first one and most important one is an A record otherwise you cannot reach your OM Pro server and the second one is an MX record uh, a record and then a mix record pointing to that a record and then you need to set up your SPF the Kim and the mark policies these are fundamental and must have DNS records otherwise uh, you may have problems on tracking your uh, email open activities or link click activities and redirecting them to the uh, target links or with your you can have problems with your email deliverability all right so the next step is to create your first user group so you can create multiple user groups uh, on OM Pro, and this is very useful actually because in this way you can uh, group your users under different groups and each user group will have its own branding and it will have its own uh, limits usage limits for example you can limit number of emails that can be sent on on monthly basis for each user group okay and you will also be able to enable and disable specific feature accesses so you can create a user group with very very limited usage access and these those users inside that group will only be able to uh, access and use those allowed features in the meantime you can have another user group with full permissions and your users inside that user group will benefit all features on the system right so you can uh, rebrand the system for each user group you can 
change the limits, payment settings, permissions, and some other specifications under each user group. And once your user group is ready, by the way, please don't forget, inside each user group, you can also set different delivery server for marketing emails, for autoresponder emails, and for transaction emails. So you can uh, split your email delivery traffic based on their uh, types, email types, marketing, transaction, autoresponder, through different delivery servers. And you can do this for each user group that you are going to create, okay? So, for example, if you are going to group your users based on their reputation, okay, you can assign your high reputation delivery servers to your high tr highly trusted users because they never send spam, etc. And you can assign, you know, less reputation delivery server to less trusted user group, user group. In this way, if someone on that less trusted user group causes a blacklisting issue or throttling issue, rate limiting issue, your high quality users will never be affected. Okay, this is very useful actually. And on the next step, you create your first user group. Okay, you enter the personal information, you enter the login credentials, you set the language for the user interface, and lastly, you set and assign the user to a user group. Okay, here. Once you fill in this form and click this one, you will see your user or users on the user list page. And you have two options to log in to the user area. You can either impersonate that user by clicking impersonate link here, or you can simply use the user area login page to enter username and password to log into the user area. This is especially useful if you are going to let your clients log into the system themselves and manage their email marketing campaigns, etc. All right. So on the user area, you can manage your email campaigns, journeys, in other words, uh, marketing automation scenarios, and you can manage your subscriber list, you can manage your subscribers, you can manage your custom fields, segments, autoresponders, and you know webhooks api access and many many other email marketing related features uh, i'm not going to dive into user area in this webinar because it's also another topic and yeah i may consider recording a different webinar for you know for a quick walkthrough of the user area and yes once you create and set up your user account your system is almost ready the next step is to prepare your email relaying service for email marketing or for email delivery, okay? So as I have mentioned, just like on the dedicated server space, you have two options here. You can either go with the self-hosted email relaying services or you can simply use a hosted email relaying service. Uh, my personal suggestion is to use a hosted email relaying service, at least for the beginning. Uh, because it's a really, really technical and detailed topic and you need to have experience and on managing, you know, many, many things like reputation, IP addresses, PTR records, DNS records, policies, etc. Uh, if you have experience on all these topics, you are good to go. Just build your in-house email uh, relaying service and use it. But if you don't want to waste your time, at least for the beginning, uh, just simply sign up for an account on a hosted relaying service and use it, okay? So, uh, yeah, if you use a hosted solution, all this technical stuff will be handled by the solution provider. And if you use a self-hosted solution, you will have, again, full control on your email delivery. And probably, if you are an experienced and knowledge person in this field, you will be able to do email deliver better than any other hosted email uh, relaying service. The reason is you will have full focus on your system, okay? So uh, for self-hosted relaying solutions, we I, I have experienced three solutions, Green Arrow, PowerMT, and Postfix. So PowerMT, uh, Postfix is a free and open source solution. Uh, I have customers using Postfix uh, to, to, to power up their email deliveries, okay? 
but I don't recommend it personally because Postfix is not made to handle email marketing or huge broadcasts, okay? So you will have challenging times when using Postfix. It's not fully customizable. You cannot set up throttling, etc., on the main basis. You cannot set up back off settings, etc. Uh, you can use it. It's free, but it will be challenging for you. On the other hand, we have PowerMTA, a well-known uh, enterprise-level MTA. Uh, it's a full-featured MTA solution. It's good. It's in the market for ages. And we are also using PowerMTA on Sunloop to power up those 10,000 IP addresses and 500 million email deliveries every month. We are very happy, very happy with PowerMTA, but the downside of PowerMTA is it's quite expensive expensive right and they changed their privacy uh, pricing policy recently and yeah it can break your bank account so unless you have a huge budget uh, don't go with power MT. it's a good solution but it's expensive on the other hand we have green arrow solution green arrow is relatively new solution it's a proven solution and yeah i have many many customers using green arrow also and yeah i'm talking to them asking their opinion about green arrow and they are all saying that green arrow is really good solution and it's a really strong alternative to power empty and from the pricing point of view uh it's a lot affordable and less costly so uh if you are going to pick a self hosted solution i personally recommend you green arrow okay and on the other hand uh, if you are going to use a hosted relaying solutions, you have tons of alternative solutions. But well known are Mailgun, SendGrid, Pepe Post, Elastic Email, Spark Post, and Sandlo. And each one of these solutions are very good and they have huge infrastructure and they can provide you a plenty amount of resources. So you can go with any of these solutions. All right. And yeah when choosing a hosted email relaying service what you need to ask for okay first of all make sure that they will provide you at least one dedicated ip address uh, i will be talking about why you should choose a dedicated ip address instead of a shared pool in a, in a couple of minutes but you know don't 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 go with a shared platform because you are building a business here okay and an email marketing is a very very profitable marketing channel for every one dollar spent on email marketing you will get at least 33 dollars back right so you need to do this right and and the right way is to get a dedicated server for your own use or for your clients okay and it shouldn't be blacklisted also yeah just make sure that uh, you scan your IP address before using it and you make sure that it's not blacklisted. It happens time to time. Uh, I will show you what tools you can use to scan your IP addresses. And also, once you get your IP address, you just make sure that you can set up a PTR record for your dedicated IP address. This is also important. And also, your uh, email link service should let you to set up a custom DKIM domain and selector. Okay? And yeah, of course, this is this should be available on all service providers, but you should be able to also set up SPF and uh, the Kim policies. And yeah, another important thing is you need to be able to export your suppression list, which contains email addresses which have been opted out or filed a spam complaint or detected as invalid. In other words, hard bounds. All right. So for the backup system, uh, for the beginning, a simple backup system will do the job for you. And yes, therefore, you don't need to spend a fortune on professional backup systems. And especially if you are on the cloud hosting uh, platform, you know, Google Cloud, Linode, Amazon AWS, DigitalOcean, all these cloud solution providers provide you scheduled snapshot service. So you can set the system to take daily snapshots every evening right so it will be useful and you can revert and restore your system with a single click on the other hand uh, if you have a dedicated server you need to take your backups yourself don't worry uh, i will provide you the required step uh, steps and scripts in a couple of slides later and 
yeah, you will need to take backups of the file uh, file structure of OAMPRO, a directory. And also you will need to take backup of your MySQL database on a regular basis. My, my suggestion is to take backups uh, every day. Okay, so let me show you two example scripts that you can use on your dedicated server to take backups of your uh, file structure and also MySQL database server. So um, this is an example bash script which will run on your server. You can add this to your cron job if you want to and you can take uh, automate the backup process on daily basis or every hour is up to you. So it will take a backup of the OAM pro directory. It will zip it, okay, compress it. And then if you have set up AWS command line tool on your server, it will upload it to a target bucket and directory on your S3 account. Okay, this is useful to and, and important to store your backups on a separate physical location. Okay, so, you know, if a problem occurs with your server and if you cannot reach your server, you should be able to get your backups from a different location. And this example best script is to take uh, backups of your MySQL database. So yeah, it, it will, you know, read every record on your MySQL database, including the database structure, and it will take a MySQL dump file here. And then using the AWS command line tool, uh, it can be uploaded to a remote S3 account and bucket. Okay, so yeah, just use these two scripts and it will be fine. You will be 100% secure and you can revert back to your backup system uh, at any time. All right, so yeah, let me talk about your email delivery checklist. You need to check this flow regularly, okay, and make sure that you are in good standing and there is no problem with any of these components. So yeah, everything begins with your OAM Pro domain, okay? It's the domain that you will be using to reach your admin area and use it. And yeah, make sure that the A record and other stuff, just like I explained on previous slides. Okay, let me show you. Where is it? 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 Ah, okay, here. Yeah. All the NS records should be set properly for your OAM Pro primary domain. Okay. And then you need to check your link tracking domains. So if you have multiple delivery servers, you will have multiple link tracking, open tracking, and sender domain settings. Just make sure that uh, DNS records, usually one C name record, should be properly set and they, they should be working. And then you need to check your DKIM domains and make sure that the DKIM uh, DNS records are properly set. And then make sure that your sender IP address has properly set uh, PTR records. Okay. And it's very important to collect them under the same domain to build the domain alignment. It's also useful when it comes to email de delivery reputation building. And lastly, you have your sender IP address. Make sure that it's not blacklisted, etc. So yeah, here is a you know short checklist. Okay. So yeah, make sure that DNS records are set properly. The the key records, SPF records, A records, CNAME records, etc. And make sure that your sender domain and IP address complies with SPF policy. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very important if uh, your IP address is not included on your SPF. DNS record, you will have problems on SPF policy check and as well as the mark policy check. And also make sure that your e outgoing emails are signed properly with the Kim signatures. And yeah, don't forget to set up a mark policy to, 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 you know, make your policy compliance better. And this is also important for each uh, IP address. I, I have written this. Sorry. Yeah, IP address. So make sure that for each sender IP address, you have set a custom PTR record, preferably from your sender domain. Okay. In this way, you can build the domain alignment. And also, this is also in, important for link tracking and open tracking. So everything on your email, uh, from return path email to 
from email address to sender IP address PTR record to uh, link domains and open domain they all should be under the same domain in this way you can build your reputation uh, faster and yeah it will be more reliable so uh, and also make sure that you have a mix record for your sender domain uh, in this way bounces can be received by OM Pro and it can process them and it can remove those invalid email addresses from your list also this is also very important yeah just register your IP addresses and contact information to abuse.net okay and yeah on also on regular basis you need to scan your IP addresses and sender domains to make sure that you are not blacklisted and but you know let me tell you something if you are in the email marketing space no matter what you do no matter how you are careful about your email delivery at some time you will face this challenge okay you will be blacklisted or you will be rate limited so that's why you need to regularly check your uh, reputation and blacklist status on various uh, blacklist and reputation sources like you know Google Postmaster Microsoft SNS or more than 100 blacklists so and if you are blacklisted or if you are having problem you need to get in touch with that data source provider and you need to delist your IP address or sender domain okay and for this reason yeah as I said just register to Google Postmaster and then register your sender domains and keep an eye uh, on your sender domain and IP uh, IP address reputation on Google Postmaster and this is the same for Microsoft SNDS it provides you very lots of valuable information including spam trap hits uh, just keep an eye on your Microsoft SNDS account and yeah from yeah some other things like if you are going to provide email marketing service to, to, to your customers and if they are going to log in and manage their own email marketing campaigns be careful so uh, make sure that email lists loaded to the system are double opt-in uh, confirmed email addresses and up-to-date email addresses if you are not sure about this or if you have some concerns about the quality of the subscriber list uh, pass those lists through a list verification service in this way risky email addresses you know role based email addresses possible spam traps and hard bounces will be filtered out before sending an email and this will make sure that uh, your sender domain ip address is in good standing and having no problem on blacklist sources and also you cannot send millions of emails from day one you need to build your reputation slowly okay and yeah you just start with a small volume on day one and increase it day by day by 15 to 20 percent but keep an eye on your metrics like bounce rates spam traps uh, spam trap hits opt-out rates and engagement rates like opens or click-throughs and yeah increase your daily volume day by day and if you stay patient uh, for 30 days at the end of the 30 days you will have a high high reputation sender domain and IP addresses and you can send hundred thousands of emails every day from just one IP address without any problem and yes as I have mentioned using a dedicated IP address is very important but the number of dedicated IP addresses that you will be using in your email deliveries is also important so if you have hundred dedicated IP addresses and if you are sending hundred thousand emails every day using and utilizing all those hundred IP addresses on your deliveries may cause a problem okay so uh, the best way is to use as few as possible IP addresses that's why the warm-up process is very important and if you do the warm-up process in the right way even one IP address can easily handle millions right so uh, you don't need hundreds of IP addresses just a few high reputation IP addresses and sender domains and another thing is yeah this is an, also a, a, a popular mistake uh, never ever change your sender domain or the Kim domain uh, regularly uh, unless you have a problem like blacklisting issue that you cannot delist 
keep your sender domain and the Kim domain consistent across your email deliveries. Okay, in this way, your reputation will be built over your sender domain, the Kim domain, and from domain. And yeah, just keep them as it is. And if you change them regularly, you will reset your reputation every time you change your domain. Okay, and also stay away from peaks, peak volumes. Okay, be consistent with your email delivery volume and and stay away from peaks and yeah i strongly recommend segment your audience based on uh, their activities and engagements right such as you know opens or click activities in this way you can isolate those inactive subscribers and active subscribers and you can use your high quality sender domains and ip addresses to send your emails to those highly engaged highly active subscribers and in the meantime, you can use another delivery server to, to send your emails to those inactive subscribers. And you can try to move them from inactive segment to active segment. But if your delivery server gets damaged from the reputation point of view while sending your emails to those inactive and unengaged subscribers, your high quality uh, delivery server will not be affected. So, and you will be able to send your emails uh, without any problem to your highly engaged recipients okay and yeah, yeah there is no overnight success in email marketing you need to be very careful about what you set up and you need to be very patient okay so yeah you need to be consistent with your email deliveries you need to monitor lots of things and then you will have a really good uh, and highly effective email marketing plan all right uh, so the next step is what to monitor on your server so you have two things to monitor okay the first one is your application server health and if i were i would monitor disk space memory allocation and docker container utilizations okay so if docker containers are consuming a lot of resources and if your server is struggling to handle those requests so you can increase the resources like ram size or cpu numbers on your server and just make sure that your disk is you know disk has plenty amount of free space okay and on the mysql database uh, again you need to monitor disk space and also memory allocation and also you know you can monitor slow queries and you can optimize your mysql configuration file to handle incoming queries and data sets in a better way and faster way of course and when it comes to email deliverability you can monitor many many other metrics like spf the kim the mark compliance okay so uh, you need you need to make sure that all outgoing emails uh, from your system have properly set spf the kim and the mark email headers and they are 100 percent correct and also you need to make sure that your sender domains have properly set mx domains in this way your bounces can be processed without any problem and if you have applied for fpl feedback loops for spam complaints on return pad or yahoo or hotmail or other uh, solution providers just make sure that you are receiving them and you need to monitor your ip address health so you need to make sure that it's not blacklisted and or rate limited and same for the sender domain you need to monitor the health of your sender domain and make sure that you, it's not blacklisted or rate limited and you need to keep an eye on google postmaster for your domain and ip address reputations okay if there is a decline on the reputation uh, you need to take appropriate actions to recover your reputation again and same for microsoft sns the one good thing with sns is it also provides you uh, starts about spam trap hits so if you have spam trap hits on your microsoft sns dashboard it's a big problem and you need to get rid of those spam traps and it's not easy you need to segment your audience into smaller chunks you need to use list verification services and yeah you need to do your best to get rid of those spam traps and to monitor blacklists you can use multi-rbl.volley.org website you can scan your ip address or sender domain one by one 
And but if you need a more professional reputation monitoring tool with notifications and history um, change historical changes etc you can use ipmonitor.app and you can connect your microsoft sns dashboard to your ip monitor and you can scan across hundreds of blacklists and etc all right so yeah here's a bonus step the importance of list verification yeah list verification is very important the reason is you know uh, no matter what quality data server you have if your lists are not in you know are not good quality email addresses you will be having problems okay you may have spam trapeze you may have lots of heart bounces or you know uh, they might have role-based emails your email addresses uh, your subscribers may not be returning to your emails or they, they may not be opening your emails click click through clicks to links etc so you need to make sure that you only have relevant email addresses in your list without any uh, inactive subscribers uh, or spam traps etc for this reason you can use a third-party list verification service and with a single mouse click you can pass your list through a third-party list verification service and you can get rid of all those heart bounces etc so uh, i strongly recommend to use double opt-in uh, list verification system uh, along with a third-party list verification service like uh, clinify never bounce or zero bounce which i'm going to explain and the reason is more uh, filtering options to get rid of those email analysis the better email the reputation you will get okay and when it comes to not engage or in other words inactive uh, recipients um, you can use segmentation okay you can segment those inactive subscribers based on their activities like opens or clicks okay and then you can remove them from the list and you can use a separate delivery server for sending your emails to those inactive subscribers in this way uh, your your primary or your high quality data servers will not be affected uh, from those less performing subscribers and yeah when it comes to role-based email addresses yeah they are most risky okay role-based email addresses are you know support at test.com info at test.com etc they might be spam traps and but the most important thing is uh, most of those role-based email addresses never get back to you okay they, they don't take an action on your emails etc so you need to find a way to send your emails to only personal email addresses and also stay away from catch-all email addresses they might be uh, spam traps also and i strongly recommend you to use a third-party list verification service and i have experienced cleanify zero bounce and never bounce they are all good higher accurate uh, email list verification services and yeah please 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 don't do these actions okay don't use a shared email delivery resource like ip address or sender domain the reason is it's it's shared it's shared with another user that you don't know okay so if that unknown user sends a spam and damages that shared ip address or sender domain you will be affected too okay so it's always better to use dedicated resources and don't send high volume emails from day one email warm-up is very important and uh, you need to take it seriously and you need to be very patient about uh, your warm-up process so and stay away from you know consistent email daily volumes so if you are sending 10 tons emails on daily basis don't send 500 tons emails on one day okay increase your volume consistent, consistently and slowly and domain alignment ignoring domain alignment is another problem um, yeah just make sure that all your domains are properly set and if it's possible make them the same domain for your sender domain for your link tracking domains etc 
and never ever remove or hide the opt-out link inside emails. So show the way to your recipients who want to quit. Okay, otherwise you'll be in big trouble. Uh, both from the legal side and also from the email de deliverability side. And stay away from sending irrelevant email subject lines. And the reason is, you know, increasing the open rate must be done uh, naturally. Uh, stay away from tricks, uh, email subject line tricks. Otherwise, you know, they will open your email. Yes, you will have higher open rates. But once they realize that the email content is irrelevant, they will be they will get mad about you and you may have higher spam complaints and also uh, don't send html only emails um, i'm not a big fan of sending fancy html emails i'm always a big fan of sending you know plain emails it can be html email but simply plain email with typographical email okay um, but you know if you are going to send html email make sure that the plain text version is also included in the email and don't ignore the number of incoming emails okay convince your audience to send a reply to you because yes opens and link tricks link clicks are important for email deliverability and reputation building but the most important thing is getting a reply okay when you receive a reply from enough amount of recipients your reputation gets skyrocket okay so you, your reputation jumps and no matter what and how many emails you send you will have a higher delivery success rate um, and yeah don't put all your subscribe don't put all your users into one bucket which means uh, if you have untrusted users or if you have low quality users in other words senders or high cloud senders split them to different delivery servers okay so yeah here's a quick cost estimation to build your ultimate email delivery platform in-house email delivery platform so you will need a dedicated server preferably 20 or 30 cpu cores with 64 gigabytes of ram it should be around 200 dollars per month on quadrant or server menu or any other data locations data centers you will need an OM Pro license, email marketing software license, and licenses start from $980, and it's not recurring, it's a one-time license fee. And also, you will need to use a hosted email relaying service, and it's usually around $480 for 1 million email delivery credits, okay? And when it comes to blacklisting and reputation monitoring, uh, you can use ipmonitor.m, and it's that app and it's 99 dollar per month and for list verification and list uh, hygiene um, it's usually around 499 dollars for verifying 500,000 email addresses and for the backup service it's almost free so i have provided you required uh, backup scripts and uh, you can only consider getting an S3 storage space and you can store your backup files there and it will be almost free, okay? All right, so what are the potential risks when you build your in-house email marketing platform? So yeah, if you get plant amount of uh, spam complaints, you will be in trouble and you will be reported to your data center you will be reported to your dns service provider etc and they may shut down your server okay they may unplug your server to avoid spam deliveries so just be careful and never let spam deliveries from your platform and yeah it's same for the email link service so if you get you know lots of spam complaints your email link service can be cancelled and your IP addresses and sender domains can be blacklisted or rate limited due to low performance and low engagement or spam complaints. And even worse, you can get privately blacklisted on Hotmail, Yahoo or Gmail. And all these ISPs and other popular ISPs have private blacklists also and they don't reveal uh, this data publicly. So you may be blacklisted privately which means no matter what you send 
your emails may be ending in the spam folder or they may simply send to the space, which means they never end in this inbox or spam folder. And yeah, so uh, if you are going to provide email mark service to your customers, you may have some risks on high bounce rates or spam trap hits or unacceptable uses, system hacks, phishing. And for this reason, um, you need to monitor your users and their activities on the system. That's why you need to set up seed lists to get a copy of here, sure, uh, not here, yes, here, copy of each outgoing email from the system, right? Uh, yes, we are done with the setting up your system, but before I end the webinar, I want to answer one frequent question that I receive always. So the question is, what does OEM Pro mean? Okay, so we have founded OM Pro back in 1999 and in the first few days it was named as Octet Email Marketer Pro. But it was a long brand, which is a branding mistake, and then our customers shortened it and OM Pro stands for Octet Email Marketer Pro. And here you can see a web archive snapshot taken from October 2000 and this is our website okay from 2000 and yeah so yeah good old days anyway so thank you very much for joining this webinar uh, I hope mm, all topics that I have covered in this webinar are useful for you but if you have any questions about setting up your dedicated server or setting up OM Pro or email delivery DNS etc or monitoring your IP addresses or keeping your system up and running etc just let me know you can reach me out by email uh, on our website on LinkedIn Twitter Facebook Instagram I'm almost everywhere so just send me a message I'll be happy to hear from you I will be happy to answer your questions as much as, much as, I, as I can so uh, just let me know what you think and if you need help I'm here to help you all right, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining and I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.